Has everybody had a chance to look through all this? Mm -hmm. Um, anything on the agenda you would like to change or add? Well, as discussed um, at the last meeting, I had discussed and asked the board if they would want me to bring my daughter in to, to do a presentation about um, possibly filling and mm -hmm. doing the thing on the house. And that wasn't put on the agenda. Yeah, it's number B, 6B. Updated video. video discussion. Okay, I apologize. I would I, propose moving that to after public invite to be heard so that they can exactly. do their thing. Okay. We'll move it on. Yes, that's that's it. Um, so I I apologize. I didn't realize that was was um, what it was and and um, I've been a little discombobulated. Yeah. Okay. So I apologize. So, got so, so I put I invited them to come. Kind of Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll get you in just a second. Oh, no, all good. Um, okay, so is there anything else on the agenda then? No. Nope. Okay. Um, can we um, re add upstairs closet organization to the future agenda items and sit mm -hmm. off of, of the future agenda items? I think we decided last time that was for the, pro the other house manager. You know, I said, I mean, said it would be a good idea to have the house manager in place before we tackle that project. So. Right. We want her in place. Yeah, but it said something about having volunteers. She would be in charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. But but let's let's. Right. So yeah. what do you want to add? Put it on back on future agenda mm -hmm. items upstairs. Closet Closet station. station. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So now you're at the point. Three public invited to be heard. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so my name is Melinda McCoy. Um, this mm -hmm. is Jamal Page, the oh. owner of Black Star Media. I'm just going to pass around these cards. Feel free to okay. take one each. We have our website and our social media and all of our information on that, so you can kind of check us out more. We're a um, video production company out of Fort Collins, Colorado, but we do work all throughout Colorado. My mom was kind of explaining to me that you guys were looking at. Um, redoing that documentary that was released so we were kind of looking at that and seeing ways that we could make improvements so jamal has made a pitch for you guys on this little computer right here in terms of trying to save some paper right. help the environment a little bit so i hope everyone can see but i will also email this out um to you guys um just let me know and i'll just kind of turn it over to jamal because he has the real brass tacks of what we can kind of do for you and the finances of everything so yeah. i know that you guys would need to get with your brand things like that. right well yeah so first of all just thanks for having us happy to be here um i am as molly stated uh working with black Square media as the creative director and we do a lot of things um in northern colorado i guess i should just say just colorado in general we Kind of go all over the place um and especially when it comes to cities and muni municipalities and kind of like things that they are involved with or support uh tends to be a lot of what our strong suits uh are in just our you know our industry um so with that being said as it relates to the callahan house let me see if i can do this no uh, this is yeah, upside down. yeah 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 like, see how good i am Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, like I said, I, I will, we would love to email this out to everyone too in case you need to repeat this out. Yeah, we'll email it. Yeah. So, the Callahan House, I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this, I'm sure you know. Uh, well, I'm going to read it because I did some research on the Callahan House. And as, again, I feel weird telling you guys this. Yeah. Of course you know. But, uh, you know, Mr. Callahan and his family, obviously very influential to um, not just Longmont, but Northern Colorado as a whole, because as they kind of came here and uh, developed and established and became the booming industry that they were, uh, it led to not just Longmont, but the rest of the region kind of growing around that. Um, obviously, one of the big selling points is the first automobile, the first automobile in Longmont. Not like the first, but the first automobile in Longmont being through the Callahans themselves just goes to show you how influential they were in bringing the future to, I was going to say Fort Collins, to Longmont. Sorry, I, I live in Fort Collins, so I, 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 my brain is defaulted. Um, <laughs> yeah. Autopilot. I'm so, sure they were involved. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. So our approach with the documentary would be to first structure it in terms of what the story elements are, right? So we want to be able to highlight not just the Callahan family, but the house itself, because the house itself has 
so much history behind it, just independently. So our approach would be kind of taking us, like if you're the viewer, taking the viewer to different areas of the house. Um, we can, you know, at some point figure out if they want to, if we want to have like a narrator or a host or what that can look like. Uh, but if that were the case, like whoever that person is could be taking us through and showing us different rooms. And as we enter different rooms, we're trying to get history lessons. And this is where the fun video element comes into play. As they're kind of taking us to the rooms, that's when we start showing some of the old documents and pictures and maybe newspaper headlines of things that were happening in relation to what they're speaking about. Um, and then from the visual element of things, uh, just really approaching it in a, in a I want to say almost an abstract way of really highlighting the intricate features. So like, you know, we would have some really nice shots of like just like light fixtures or what the, you know, average the wood around the building looks like, yeah. all of those different features yeah. and the statue up front etc the gardens exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah you know something so it's not just like a broad pan of the room and that's all you get because we really want to see like what the room is about what the features are about and just what the house is about so that's kind of what the approach would be from a story element and a visual element as well um and then we can dive into that more so as we get further on in the documentary um now a little bit about who we are, Blacksburg Media. Um, we are located in Fort Collins, and uh, we've been uh, Blacksburg Media has been in operation for about five years now, going on five six years now. Um, and what we love to do is just tell stories and tell stories in a way that engages the audience and brings about change in whoever. The story is either about or whoever gets the chance to watch the video we just really love to bring about social change and you know help change what our society is which just is by very videos. applicable with the yeah. callahan house and the fact that this is meant as a place for women in longmont to really congregate and so just showing that and spotlighting that especially exactly exactly yeah um so yeah i mean and we we do it all so we do we do documentary videos with short films, music videos, whatever it takes to show the story, get the story out, no matter who the client is, right? So that's kind of what we do really well, is just the story elements. Um, so there. A couple of our past projects have gone on to be pretty well received. I don't know if this is, there we go. A couple of our past projects have gone on to be pretty well received just within um, the filmmaking world, right? So sometimes you'll do a, a short film or a music video and you send those off to festivals just like around the country um, and if you're successful then you win awards whatever so we've been fortunate enough to just have success in that realm of things obviously that side is a bit different than um, like the more commercial business that we do but that just goes to show you with all this stuff how well rounded we are as a company and that if we had the chance to do a documentary about the Callahan house it would be taken care of the same amount of like reverence and respect that we would have with any other creative projects and short films. Uh, recent work, these are links, so they're probably not going to work right now, but we'll email all this to you. Um, Foco Talks, yeah, so one of our recent projects at the Talks is Foco Talks. So we've been working with um, FC Public Media out of Fort Collins um, for a new video series where that one is kind of based around uh, mostly Fort Collins as a community and just um, a bunch of different marginalized communities in there and what living in Fort Collins looks like to them. And through that video series, we kind of work through, of course, FC Public Media, but the town of Fort Collins itself. Um, this is a, a public broadcast a channel that's on all of the local TV stations. Um, and it's been a really fun kind of project for us to not just work with the city, but work with the city on a project that is talking about the city, um, and then have that project also be something that's on public access TV. It also has that historic element that we mm -hmm. could be capturing with the Callahan House as well. So if you look at that link once we send that out, it has those similar features of what we would kind of look at when mm -hmm. shooting this, with featuring the documentation, photographs, everything yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the other ones are just, uh, it's better to click 
movies. It's hard to explain. They're more You'll like see commercial. Them. Yeah, they're commercial uh, works, but yeah. they just go off to show the level. So Blast and Scrap is a local nonprofit, and that link is just in there to kind of display um, the visual elements of what we can do. Because that that particular link has a lot of just like moving graphics and kind of fun talking images. So that link is in there just to highlight what post production can look like. Uh, the bottom link is oh, our safe and secure elections video. Uh, that one was a cool one because that's a national campaign that we did as well. Um, and that link is in there just to highlight the quality of the production that we can provide um, because that was a pretty large project for us uh, as it was a national, nationally funded campaign that went on to be everywhere. So we were you know, really dialed in on making that look really great. So that's what that link is for, just to show the quality. Uh, Blast Scrap is to just show what our post-production elements can do. And then um, Focal Talks, just to highlight the fact that we are familiar with working with uh, city governments, municipalities, working within communities that we live in. As well as historical topics. Yes. Yeah. Now, what do we have here? Budget and cost. So, line items are, you know, I'm going to have to look at it. So, we've got our director, grip, sound, post, and rentals. Rentals has an asterisk because that's very project specific. Uh, sometimes we'll approach a project and we don't need to rent out equipment from anywhere else because we have what we need already to get it done. Um, so that one is always kind of a hit or miss. Um, but these are, these items are listed as if um, we're filming for two days for this documentary. Um, so this is what two days of filming would look like budget-wise because everything kind of breaks down into day rates. Um, the way things really operate is there's either like day rates or there's kind of hourly rates. And again, it's very project specific because one is more beneficial than the other depending on what you're doing. Sometimes an hourly rate is better suited for what you're doing. If you're going out to just shoot a corporate event, um, you're there for like an hour and a half, two hours, pretty, pretty easy setup. Um, but however, if you do an hourly rate for something where you're like filming for eight hours that day, that be, might that might be less cost effective than just having like a flat day rate. So that's why those are kind of itemized in that order, and these are listed as what the day rates would be rather than the hourly rates. Um, so we would have, in terms of crew, director slash DP, uh, we'd have a grip, and that just means the person who essentially helps with the lighting. They help just put up. I think in this case, it would it'd be less lighting, more of like making sure that there's not a glare yeah, coming out of the exactly. window, something like that. Um, but they're the person that like is rigging up all the C scenes. Um, then we've got our sound mixer. Um, that's you know the person who's actually got the boom mic and they're running around making sure that whoever the narrator is can be heard really mm -hmm. well. Um, and then I believe post production, uh, and that's just that's just. And, and for the narrator, you can do a lot of different options in terms of the talent handouts, whether that you want to have it be a board member, a director, a city official, um, which I think could be a really cool thing to incorporate them yeah. within this project, or an actor who is outside of this as well, which we get connections with. Yes. Can we get that Morgan Freeman? <laughs> I don't know if we can get Morgan Freeman. It would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make a call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he might be a little bit busy, but I'm sure he'll answer. He's got a great voice. Yeah, yeah, he'll swing by. How do you do closed captioning? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with, uh, I can also, when, once we email this to you, I can send over links of other projects that have closed captioning examples, okay. um, just so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like. Um, but yes, absolutely we do. Mm -hmm. um, so for our options here, total estimate, the top one is what pricing would look like just without rental fees. Because again, sometimes we, you know, we've collected a lot of gear and equipment over our years of working, and so sometimes the rental fee is not existing. Or, or we know it. someone that we can kind we of use someone. that equipment yeah. from. Yeah, it's really in very show. special use cases where someone wants like a sweeping crane shot of a thing okay. and we're like, yeah, we can do that. We just have to like rent the equipment from like a rental house yep. and those tend to be a bit pricey. Yep. Uh, so that's why I just have an asterisk on there, but in this situation, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if yep. rentals would even be needed. So I would almost just go with the top budget item for this project. Um, 
Sam Elliott. Yeah, I love him. He's good too. We have both of them. Right, you guys just think an overview you're getting at us. I love it. Yeah, you're a bunch of dreamers. It's just our contact and Sam Elliott with our emails. And my email is also on the card, so reach out, feel free to. And then I'm going to have my mom connect us um, with all of you guys so we can send out this presentation. Yeah, well, well, in in truth, um, I would feel more comfortable with Sue on your behalf. Or whoever. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Are we keeping the business card? I have a question yeah. about um, pitching and placement mm-hmm. of this video. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you already have in mind PBS. Mm-hmm. Do you have like good connection with them or to someone on the so board? So uh, I have worked with PBS prior um, for a program mm-hmm. at Metropolitan State. So I have connections with one of their producers there. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean much in terms of us you know giving something to them they still have to go through their normal review process but i do have that initial yeah. connection yes. yeah and i do as well um okay. i know a couple of other people who regularly regularly have their projects circulated through pbs okay. yeah. one of the i think that one of the big pushes that and i, I know personally I, and the board knows this as well but um because we've received money from the um the Colorado State Historic Fund, we would really like to be able to put it on the Colorado experience okay. as, as um, and from speaking with PBS in the past, the video that's in existence currently is not a standard. Yeah, it's, I reviewed that video and it's a little bit of a, there, there's some sizing problems when it mm-hmm. comes to images and stuff like that, and that's something that we would absolutely have uh, fixed and corrected in yeah. on that video. So all of that size is with you. Yeah, and I was going to say another thing with kind of going back to that Poco Talks project that we do with uh, SF Public Media. That's again, since it's a publicly broadcasted uh, project, uh, once we are creating that, there are guidelines that we have to work within just for broadcast guidelines, mm-hmm. um, sizing guidelines, so things you know are fitting on every TV screen wherever you're watching it. Uh, so when it comes to things like that and just that process of like, making sure things are sized and appropriate and where they need to be in terms of just broadcast rules. That's something that we need to have with a lot of history. That was another question I had yeah. because we do have a local station channel three here mm-hmm. which we do something very similar in and we would like to I at least I would like to see that we're working on it would be shown there as mm-hmm. well and, and for the community mm-hmm. as much community involvement as possible. And, that's just my own personal thought. I have uh, one question on the length. Would you keep? I think the current one's between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm not sure the exact length of it. So it was um, 36 minutes, I believe. Was it that about long? 40 was um, was to on, on the long end. Um, and it was rather robust documentary. Would you guys want to keep it around that same length? Well, that's, I was, um, I, one thing I like about the old one, even though uh-huh. it definitely needs upgrading, is that it's very historical. Yes. And not, mm-hmm. only, not only the Callahan House, but it covers the history of Longmont. Yeah. And I think that's important, too, because really, I don't know where else kids get it. You know, right. unless they see it on something like that, it's, I don't know if it's taught in schools. Yeah. So yeah. We do have a really vibrant history here, too. So would, yeah. your, would you also include? Absolutely. Yeah. And one thing that I was going to explore with that, and I didn't include it on this pitch, because I'll just kind of put that in a, in a more um, comprehensive format for you guys. But one thing that I was going to try to explore is seeing if anyone here wanted to lend their voice to the video as well, whether that be like, you know, we sit down and do a quick testimonial and like maybe one of you can speak about either your personal history in Longmont or just, you know, interesting facts that you know of Walmart, if there's just anyone who would be like, <laughs> you know. Or perhaps even how you got involved with the county and also in general. There, there is so much history. Sure, Candy's a good uh, yeah. family history. Wasn't it, um, yeah. uh, Ralph Wilson who had a relative of yours who heard firsthand from, uh, what was the wife's name? Callahan. Mary Shine. My, but but we heard husband, that she wanted Alice to Townsend. make this available to my husband's great grandparents used yeah. to play bridge with the Callahans. Yeah, and then the great uncle handled the deed. I have a copy of um, a quick claim that was her to my husband's great. Grandfather. Your great grandfather yeah. didn't have to be JC Penny, was he? <laughs> 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 no, probably no one. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
yes, no. Yeah. 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 And um, it had popped up on my daughter's whatever she had. And it, <laughs> the article was right there and it said, the fire at the A-C-H-E-Y's clothing store. A-C-H? Wait a minute, that's our clothing store. So yeah. she right away sent a text and they changed it just like that. So it, it was corrected before I actually went to print. Wow. But had Sarah not seen that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, we'd love to get Ida on camera and yeah. telling us about everything like that because that, that kind of goes into the documentary as well in the video. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I mean, I, I grew up here in Longmont, as you all know, and coming to the Callahan House multiple times, going on tours here, and visiting the other historic homes here in Longmont. So, I really want you to know that, like if we are able to work on this project, it will, like, I'm very passionate about capturing this story and capturing the historic presence that Longmont and the Callahan House has because of the importance to not only myself, but to the entire community. Yeah. So, and I oh, do all nice. things like that. Yeah, I, I live in Fort Collins now, but my first place I had ever been to in Colorado was Longmont. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I spent about uh, six months here. Oh. Um, and then went back home to Oklahoma, where I'm from, and I was only there for a year. And then had the opportunity to move to Fort Collins. And I was like, that's close enough to one. Nice. Yeah, it is close enough. Yeah. So now we'll go home. That's great. Okay, then I have some other probably stupid questions. Uh, so, so I Ask really any questions you have. But um, <laughs> one of the other things that we, we is on my pet project. So we work with, we're, we've got our QR codes, and we I had hoped that at some point we could put QR codes up to, to link on and then possibly have a little presentation. Is that something you can help us with? Like a QR code that would be on, say, the statue up front or like yes. a different item and then when you're going through, it would go through to that exact section in the video? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no That's problem. That's what I'm asking. Thank yeah. you for understanding oh. my gibberish. She just I know you. Can you help me understand that? So if somebody is walking through, they Put, they scan the QR code and what the video is where. So it would go, um, so they're scanning with their phone, correct? And so then it would go to the exact point oh, in the video that we would have linked to it. Mm -hmm. And then it would be like, oh, we're going to talk about the statue of or we're going to talk about the gardens, or you know, we're going to talk yeah. about like well, so the upstairs. On your phone, yeah. it, would, it would play. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So oh, those are short. Their, I mean, short snippets. Videos, right? snippets. So would you yes. snippets? Yeah. Okay. So you'd have individual yeah. vignettes, like yeah. Each. That's the thing we can uh -huh. do because yes. we'll have like, of course, the long, like all encompassing video. Okay. Um, but then from that, we can take snippets and just have those be independent oh. videos. So oh, for nice. example, people cool. using QR codes, if they're not getting whatever the full thing is, they're just getting like just you know a thirty second clip of the very understanding. Yeah. So well, something so, like uh, I was thinking oh, like like I apologize. I know, like, go ahead. like the fountain. Somebody clicks mm -hmm. on the fountain. If you've got the QR code they, they can just have the, just about it talks about the fountain. Yeah. Okay. And if you if we have an open house and let's say there is a bunch of people, not enough um, to gather around and hear the whole spiel in any given room by the presenter, mm -hmm. they could put that, they could just go to that on their phone. There might be a, a, yeah. a QR code for the individual room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Would that add to the cost of the production? It would depend. I mean, I think it all depends on scheduling, right? So mm -hmm. if we had like a two day shoot, mm -hmm. we could have the one day be uh, just kind of a, a walkthrough day where we are filming and it's just a very broad, Kind of scope of things, and then we come back on day two and be more focused. And like all of day two could just be like videos of this room, video of that room. That would be more focused on our approach of things. Um, so I, I still think it would be doable in two days because the only thing that would add to cost or price would really just be the amount of days needed to, to film. 
And in yeah. terms of materials for those QR codes, because I assume, especially if you're outside, you want to do a plastic or something like that, um, that's a very minimal cost as well. So, so um, when you're putting together some kind of framework for us to review before you ever get to the point of mm -hmm. filming and production, mm -hmm. um, how detailed would that be? You'd have your script mm -hmm. that we would be reviewing mm -hmm. and. Uh, and, yeah. Shot sheet or whatever that exactly. would show the different things yeah. while the script is going. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And the script would be like a very collaborative process. So uh -huh. you know, we would maybe even write an outline of just like mm -hmm. what would be cool to see, and then maybe yeah. everyone else can contribute like the the fine details yeah. of that outline, yeah. just so that uh -huh. you know we're all on the same page of like what's being communicated to the viewer through what room, through what story, through whatever. And so, oh, oh, so would there be a charge for that? You know, I mean, you're putting time into that introduction piece with their, the, uh, or that. No, that's, that would be, that like would be part, part of the content. Okay. What about yeah. a day where you're just coming out here and scoping things out long before we even start that script or the first yeah. run through to shoot so that you Right. I mean, there's would you charge for that kind of thing? Possibly. It wouldn't be a full day rate. It'd be like maybe like a half day rate. Um, mm -hmm. And that would only be for the sake of the film crew because yes. it helps It helps for them to come out and get eyes on the property before the day of showing up and just like learning everything right then and there, trying to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. right. What about before you write your script? that walk through where people knowledgeable of all these rooms and of the house and of how we might want to bring the Longmont history into it, whatever, um, are here to take you through, you the decision makers who are writing the script, so that you know what needs to be, you know generally what kinds of things need to be built into it. Right. In that walk, walk through, it seems like that would be important. Yeah, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd be helpful. Yeah. And some of the nice things of kind of what our role is on terms of just the creative side is we we take all the information, right? We compile everything that the client or the business or whoever is wanting to communicate, right? And maybe they're not so much a, a creatively minded individual, <laughs> but they but they know exactly what they want to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where people like us gonna come in yes. and we say, okay, we, we hear what you're saying. Yeah. We hear what you're wanting to get out there into the world. Here's what we think is the most effective way of doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. And, and even when you're coming to do a walkthrough and learning, mm -hmm. you'll probably spot things that we wouldn't even think of that you could do with in a video that would mm -hmm. make it. And seeing with like the different stories throughout Longmont, like there is so much history here, so we really want to make sure that we're spotlighting what you guys want to talk about and not, you know, because there is so much going to all these different various things. Yeah. You know, we could talk with the Dickens family forever as well. You know, right. that's it's a whole other story in itself. Um, but yeah, we'll provide full shot list, script, and audiovisual script as well. So if, um, if commissioned to do this work, when would you anticipate filming could realistically happen, and then what time frame after filming would if you have a final product? So I think somewhat in terms of like when we would be filming um, would really depend on your guys' availability. We obviously do have some pre-scheduled shoots on our schedule, um, but it would be up to when you guys are not hosting an event or a wedding or, you know, yeah. the various different things that happen at the Callahan House. Mm -hmm. So we would need to kind of confer with your guys' schedule and our schedule to find two days that worked. So and they said late October. Late October. Just, I'm just throwing you a date. Yeah. It's late October. Yeah. So it would be filmed in late October. When would you have a final product? Be filmed in late October. We could have something to you by mid-November. So would it be possible to do some of the outdoor stuff earlier Yes. You know, get yeah. all that wow, footage while so nice. wow, it's nice, <laughs> wow, it's nice. Wow. and then it wouldn't wow. even uh, be an issue if certain indoor projects aren't right. done yet that we want mm -hmm. later in October. Absolutely. Hopefully, it would be yeah. like, get all that beautiful stuff outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the flowers yeah. and exactly. the fountains are open, and right. and, and looking at our schedule, we have yeah. September pretty open in terms of especially that um, kind of second week there and. Yeah. 
What's the peak for the garden? You know, August, yeah. the, the third September, third week, week, but August, September, August, early, September. End, yeah. of, end of September, we get, we can get frost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. we also have availability in August, very flexible schedules. And we're looking at the calendar right now, yeah. but we could do that third week in September. And then earlier, I know kind of looking at this, we could do any of those last three weeks in August or yeah. even for the, flat, for the gardens, I wouldn't go for the August yeah. part. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and because, yeah. Anne was a gardener here. She knows the garden. <laughs> yeah, that's so. why I asked her what's it <laughs> yeah, for yeah. the garden. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, September is iffy. You know, I mean, it, it can be beautiful, but you get, you get an early frost, and then this yeah, is Colorado. It gets yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. it's yeah. in September. Exactly. That's right. September. It's done. That. Right. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. with the weather this year, we have yeah, we, no idea. All yeah. bets are on. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, it's great that you all are so flexible and can do that. Can work with yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I mean. It's the nature of our business in terms of moving around shoots and having to kind of be flexible. So yeah, very flexible. Um, I'm just going to email this pitch to Sue, Sue Allen Sue Allen. right now. Okay. Is that the perfect? Perfect email right there. Yep. Okay, I'm yep. going to do that. Mm -hmm. And you know, for if we knew when you were going to come to do video out in the gardens, we'd probably want to make sure the landscaping crew was not there that day, but maybe the day before. We have a lot of moving parts yes. yeah. that yeah. will be a consideration. So, but, but for concept, concept right. yeah. That's, yeah. that's right now. Exactly. Concept, and yeah. that's exactly. Yeah. So if we're looking at August, it would be really great just for our scheduling purposes. If you wanted to send over a couple dates, two dates, that would really work for you guys in August in terms of, like I said, that aren't you're not posting an event, etc. Slow down a little bit. Yeah. Because you're involved. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, but I mean, I love it. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. you know, I'm, I'm not being against it. But, absolutely. Um, but I, I absolutely am for it. If we can look at a quick timeline, yeah. I, I think yeah. it's a, I think it's a great idea. Um, but, and I think the details can be hashed out uh, off, <clears throat> off the meeting, absolutely. just so that we yeah. can yeah. continue the business for today. Absolutely. Um, and then. Yeah, I just figured I'd put it out there that we really are like willing to come in whenever. So whenever works for you guys, and whenever you kind of looked at things and said maybe this is something you seriously want to do, feel free to send dates our way. We're we're not in a rush. So. Okay, okay, thank and you. Just yeah. the bottom line is everybody is in agreement that this is a good idea. Yes, it comes. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty clear. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'd like to do that and get that updated. But I think the idea of leading it on to the color, what is it? The Colorado experience, yeah. and because it's really Amazing. supported, and we would really like, in my opinion, I think it's important that we highlight that we receive funds from the Colorado Historic yeah. Preservation yes. um, the Fund, <laughs> and because they are very active in supporting that specific program on PBS, mm -hmm. um, I think it would be a win-win for everybody. Right. We are fulfilling our grant mm -hmm. uh, obligations um, because we received a large fund for windows and and uh, drive uh, the drive mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, driveway you know more and than I do so. mm -hmm. in, in regards to that, and that would be fulfilling our promise to them that we would acknowledge all the funds that we've received as a, as a yes. city. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's, what about? Um, I know this is a detail, but the last little detail I'm going to throw out is when you're acknowledging that, not necessarily in that part of the video or anything, but at the end, mm -hmm. would you have some kind of thing similar to the list that we're trying to create of, you know, yeah, cast donors? Can we do that of donors? And, like and, a, yes, and yeah, scrolling yeah. thing. That's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Correct. Yes, that's yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. So you so much. Much. You'll be emailing that out to everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any yeah, you questions well. at all, feel free to reach out via that email. Mm -hmm. I'm always available. So. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to meet you. This yeah. is exciting. Would you like me to put these chairs back in there? If you want. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 Thank you. We can function. It's a nice so much. That's right. No, no, no. Thank you guys again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Okay, that was really interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um, do we want any more discussion on that, or do you want to let it soak in for a little bit? Or? That was a lot of information, guys. I, more than I was even. So, 
I think we're all on, everybody like, here is on board. Yeah, I, so I think it's very will, appropriate. Every time this is not a ridiculous yeah, cost. That's what I was worried about. That <laughs> was right. be my next thing. Sure, we have enough money to pay um, this. So, um, I, I need to dig into the money. Okay, right. we'll have to, before we go too far, we'll have to make sure we got right. the funds. So, right. as we get to the manager report, would it, the we stop the online advertising for Callahan in mm -hmm. February because of the restoration. That cost is not insignificant, and I think the nine month savings of that would cover almost all of this project. Oh, wow. If you guys are in agreement not to do any additional advertising mm -hmm. until next year, mm -hmm. so that the funds that were allocated for advertising that were not used for social media outreach would instead be transferred. Could apply to that. My question there is though, how are we set for uh, weddings for next year? Because if we stop advertising, we're also going to stop getting inquiries. Well, we um, we do need those funds too. But the budget yeah. for next year occurs toward the end of this year, and so um, the funds um, saved. They're so, use or lose. Right. Use or and, 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 and so and that is for 2023. Mm -hmm. And so for 2024 advertising. I, I, that's I don't want you guys to worry about that. Yeah, we'll figure this out. I don't want yeah. you. That's so not, I just, you guys don't. The, the, the big thing for me is that was the big unknown. Mm -hmm. I didn't know numbers. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I've had this dream. I've had this push that we, we do this. But number of wise was always that scary unknown Ooh. that I had no idea what that figure was going to be. I thought they could have showed $20,000. Right. Like, <laughs> right. Um, and, and that's yeah. part of the this reason is, why it's fair. Reasonable. This I, seems I, I, reasonable to yeah, me, yeah, and especially when it's kind of reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Could right. we right. see? Well, we'll get it, I guess, when they send that email out. There's some links, and we can see. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll I think, yeah, once well, we right, see it. We're going to sign the bottom line. You guys take a look at the stuff. We will, too. Um, we'll run the numbers behind the scenes. Right. Um, we'll, we'll send out information on this because this is something that you, we're not going to wait till the next meeting right. to go on because we're all in favor of right. the idea of yeah. it. Do we need um, to do an official? Unless, I think we need to be appropriate. But first, you, um, yeah, you can, yeah. You can, you yeah. Can, you can, we really can't can. vote. On, I mean, we want them to start, but until we see their outline of what they're going to do. A recommendation to move. Yeah, uh, yeah, recommendation to move forward, but not yeah. yet to approve the whole project. To look at the proposal. Yeah, the proposal that they come up with. Okay, and, and my big thing is, like you, Ben, I was scared to death of that number. I had no idea what that number was going to be. And that's why I'm like, okay, well, we'll, we'll listen. We'll see, mm -hmm. and, and then we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. So to me, I, that number came in way lower than I was expecting, So I, and happily so. I was just. Can I just ask of the, well, most of us have. Has anybody on the board here not seen the current video? Has everybody seen it? Mm -hmm. I need to go back and review it some more. I yeah, it's watched it. Years since I would say it. look at the old one first. Yeah, so yeah. I have some. I'm gonna go. I think you can get it yeah. online. Yeah, it's on the city's website. It's on the city's website. I think I have a little page. Kathy gave us a little bit. Yeah, but I don't have a display. Oh, my computer. It's online. You can come to my house. I've seen a lot of people. I must admit, I had reservations about tossing the old one. Yeah, because it's a lot of Up until about halfway through the presentation. What started with the QR codes and putting it on in Colorado and the experience. experience and. All the other possibilities that that one does not have built in, right? Then that that convinced me. Yeah. I mean, it was that like history's not going to change. Right. The history yeah. of Callahan and what we've got is documented in that first one. Right. right. Yeah. But taking us into the future mm -hmm. with all these other things, yeah. that, with the whistles and bells that are yeah. yeah. right. And, and exactly. I, I'm with mm -hmm. you. The old video I think has its place, and I don't think it should be going anywhere. Mm -hmm. very it's, that's a very good historical it's a, it's yeah. a very good historical information it's my big push was okay well, I took that I had I took, I went in a, and I approached PBS with it and they said it was not a it was a, a, a subpar quality right. I would not use it mm -hmm. then I'm like mm, okay so just like you that's kind of where I'm at I just think once a film is made it's just like any film if you remake a film, mm -hmm. you have the older film to go back and run. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. Yeah. I don't think we have it anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. anywhere. So, so I, I didn't know that you had 
pitched it to the P to PBS. So I had approached them. I put feelers out. There. That was their reaction. I just yeah. went out there and I spoke with the production people. That was it. I, I got some just very maybe ten minute phone call type of thing. And they said, No, we're very specific on how we do this. We're we're so many years out and, and how we put something on and, and it has to be of a certain quality and they went on to the thing and I'm like, it was kind of a wound to fit. Yeah. The plating moment, but, but that was, yeah. Um, you know what's so interesting about putting something on PBS uh, or any place where you get a broader scope of viewers than you had before, even just, you know, in Northern Colorado, um, we might find people who have history that's part of this, right. you know, that we didn't just know like the yeah. ones in, um, yeah. wherever he's at, Chillicothe. Chillicothe. Chillicothe, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so given some, that the, so I'm going to make a motion. So given that the cost of this project is going to be reasonable and within means, um, given the reduction of marketing, Expenditures. I move that we accept the, the process and move forward with um, this kind of project. And as long as you're no, you're saying that city wide, as long as on a city level, that's acceptable financially. And I move that we move forward with this to consider the project. Consider it, yeah, yeah, to not, yeah, yeah. we're not yes. right. We're, we're not, not we're not it. putting we're not, it on we're not on any yeah. contract or anything. We're just moving. To see what they can yes. propose yeah. to us. So basically, yeah. you're, mo you're giving a motion to approve them to give us a proposal and a demo yeah. to go forward with the project to look at the possibility. Yeah. Well, I don't want them to put a lot of money into it yet, and no. I don't want us to commit a lot of money. Yeah, yet. right. I just yeah. want to see their little proposal, and I'm sure we'll go through with that, you know, but right. I think we should do this step by step so we see the links. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's moved. So we move forward. I'm kind of just their proposal. Move forward. Just need to say. You move that we move forward in our consideration of this project. Yeah, yeah that's the okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. We, yeah. we give them authorization to create a proposal for us. You know, I mean, he had a little proposal there, but that was more just an intro. They were going to give us an outline, I think he said. Or a, well, I think what he's providing to Swell and Swell is going to provide to us. That is so their really example yeah. of, their, of what they can do. Okay. Um, and then I think we, at that point, have to probably Then we have to decide if say, we want to. Yes, yeah. this this we're looks good. Um, so we're yeah. not committing. Yeah. No, we're not committing. Okay. So right. yeah. okay, but we'll, but how will then and Sloan move forward with any kind of? I don't think we get specific with this motion. Quick question. Not 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 with this not with this motion. Because sure. um, if they're talking about some August leads of maybe getting out to do some filming, is that are we going to uh, talk about this again next uh, month? Which is August. <laughs> yes, I know, but I just didn't know the August, August dates, and I didn't want that to happen. Or we could be giving them the permission to come and take a look at it. Uh, that's uh, that's it. We're going to have to see. I don't, I'm trying we're to think how to phrase this motion so that we... Right. Well, no, because I also don't want that we want to be done. Right. Right. Side too. There's right. Also right. The painting to be completed so, uh, so as well. It's been right. so bizarre this year. Yeah. It's been yeah. bizarre. Yeah. So more no, 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 no control over that. No. Okay. Okay. So, so these are unknowns right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's, so how let's, can we, let's start forward. How can we phrase this as a move forward I, I think, considering I think, the proposal? Can you want to mention the phrase again? So this. Um, um, Karen moves that we move forward in our consideration of this consideration. Okay. So yeah. I second that. Oh, they were paper. I was waiting for you guys. Yeah. 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 You have to see the Read my mind. Read my mind. Okay. 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 I'll ease. Okay. All right. Well, then let's move on. That was the night. That's the first time we've ever had puzzle. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, packet yeah. update. Number two. Can we? Wait, number two. Go back oh, to two. Yeah, we got yeah, 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 it. Yeah, I bet. Uh, approval of previous month's minutes. Do we read them and everybody can have it? I just have one quick correction under number five, old business. In the third paragraph, Brittany's name is misspelled. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, know. I, I, I saw oh, that. Yes. I forgot to say. Old business. Five, old business number five. Is in number five, yeah. I, uh, the third paragraph I down should be Brittany. Okay. That's just a typo. 
having yeah. been there a million times. Mm -hmm. you know, so. And I have a few take suggestions. One, can we add in to the units the lettering under the paragraph numbering like it is in the agenda? Because then that's easier to reference. Well, I've waffled back and forth with the, the templates that I've got, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> the templates. I, I will attempt to yeah, you switch can, over. You can spend um, a lot of time messing with that. We, yeah. uh, we're working towards a complete ADA revision of our website. And so a different way of, we are moving in that direction. I the guess formatting. The, the formatting in that, in that way. So it, it is coming. Okay. So we had had them previously. And, and yeah. And it's Trust me. Well, I think but the format was established for this before we established that. And so I was right. setting my ways up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we'll that. Okay. exactly. So that's so, in the future. Okay. So then uh, I've got one I've got a correction under paragraph two. Um, Paragraph two, mm -hmm. number two, number two, sorry, okay. number two, the second bullet. Um, uh -huh. It was it was me, not Karen Reed, that asked for a link um, for the public to access the Calhoun House minutes. Okay. So that's Karen Cruz, and if you could include that, it was a link, and for the public specifically, that's a link for the public to access the Calhoun House minutes. And then Ben said he could send the link out. Okay. Um, for clarification, not for the minutes, um, where do you want this link to be? Well, oh, that's a good question. How else will... It's on um, Hive.gov now. So if someone went to the City of Longmont, went to the advisory boards, okay. looked at the Calumet House, they're all there. The links are, the links are there. The packets are attached. They have been historically okay. for quite some time. So can, can we include that? that in the minutes, just that um, link links to prior Callahan House minutes are located on the city's website under did you say boards? Advisory boards. Advisory boards and then Callahan House. Just so that there's a everybody's hunting for it. So that if there's it's written in I just this remember you had to hunt for you know well, <laughs> this yeah. is from my first this is a lot of hunting. Um, <laughs> so there's there's a common thing. So, so and we can ask last time. grab two. Okay. Um, so of, I, I, I think if we could get a link to these other uh, to the home pages that take us to directly to Prime Gov or directly, I'm not sure how how direct you can go. Um, but if, let's look at that. Was it called Prime Gov? Yeah. Nobody will know what that means. No, so. that doesn't have any meaning. I'm just writing just myself where, to find it. <laughs> I didn't know well, there was it, such a thing. It, but it, because it doesn't, it oh, doesn't, doesn't, have, doesn't have meaning it. except for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. within the city staff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, but it's a system that you yeah. use. I, I can yeah. research that, and that's probably not well, helpful to put in the minutes because you didn't know that information for the minutes. Yeah, so, no, so but it can be something we can add to our, in fact, add it on so, our, these minutes that, yeah. if there are corrections, we don't do that. We prefer a similar, just for a similar thing. We can add other. Yeah. It, it is. It's well, confusing, it's, and I think it's trying to pack it up. It's I think for next month we're good yeah. for open communications. Uh, easy, easy, yeah. easy, easy access. access. Yeah. yeah. Um, then uh, the next um, item is under the under number five under the curbing topic um, between the first and the second. Um, um, check marks and refer to them like that because that's what the. I'm sorry, what number are you on? Number five? Number five, five, five six, under curbing. And I believe in between the first and second check marks, we probably should have one third piece of information that was included in the meeting, but it's not referenced here in the minutes. And that was that I, I had questioned then about the origin of that historic landmark picture in the board packet and then provided everyone with a copy of the Longmont City Ordinance number 1229, designating Callahan House as on private property, designating Callahan House as a landmark, and it includes the legal description of the property. And that's, that was uh, for purpose of identifying the accuracy of, of the description. That's what the last one says, then we'll revisit the historic landmark picture. Okay. On the board packet regarding families and Calhoun House. Yeah, that's pretty. 
Because but, but no one would know that it why a, it was he's, off, 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 why he's off. going back to look at his accuracy. And if, if you don't refer to Karen provided the ordinance number one two two nine. So basically, shows that okay, that's send me down. Well, and I, I think the, the board minutes are to capture board decisions right, right. moving forward, not necessarily providing all the intricate details of how a decision was made. I think that we can take that information and include it in a later packet if you if you would like to have that historically captured. Well, it's an action that occurred in the meeting and the discussion that occurred in the meeting. It's, it's, the, final, so it does, it's the finalization. It's the final decision. The final decision, not all the details involved. Yeah. Right. But we have six pages of yeah. I, I understand. I prefer not to go into that detail. It, it's a fine line. I understand your point. I also understand Karen's point. I think if, if we just state that, that the ordinance was presented before the board and she made copies of the ordinance and gave them out to everybody. And so where where the ordinance is where we are looking at the boundaries from, not from the picture that was given to us from Ben, but the ordinance itself. And in referencing the ordinance, that's all it is, is the ordinance was represented in, in a statement. That was it. I, I don't think that's well, too I, much. My, my reaction would be to add to this last one about Ben revisiting this as her yeah, they can ask for it. Or question the or do something. Or, 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 I don't, I don't care how it's in there. Honestly, I really don't want to say it's submitted in there that the ordinance was presented by Karen Bruce. And, and, and then re referenced. That's it. Because yeah. we were handed a piece of paper. So send me a Just don't say ask her. That's one of my pet peeves. It says ask her. I don't know. Just say her. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's just <a> <laughs> <laughs> it sounds okay. like aspirin. Well, anyway, <laughs> the ordinance was provided to the board so that everyone could review it. So, and, and the legal description is there, and that's the, the accurate description. But what you wrote then forward to okay. me. Um, okay. Um, Good catch there. Um, Board, um, Karen, I'm lost. Where are you at? Number Paragraph nine. nine. Well, number nine under review. Um, the third review. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you. It's just the house manager will take over maintaining the list, and that's because the, the list is okay, what we've it. provided to City Council with the board um, annual report for the last three years. So the house manager will take over maintaining those. It's still something that the isn't that I, I remember reading the job description for the no, one house manager? Job, no. it's just, that was on there, I think, wasn't it? There's a lot of how I wrote it. No, oh, it's okay. just it's just a, for clarity. It's just I, I do find it clear the way it's listed, um, but yeah, at some point we have to kind of I think. I mean, we really value the, the, not, we really right. value the secretaries. Yes. I think that's very important, and when. I, I think it's important to, if the the overall accuracy is there, to, to let that go and move forward. Right. Um, because it, it is really a summation. It's not meant to be a historical document in and of itself. Um, the details can be found on the video recordings and that notification of that details are available on the signature pages. They're available a lot of other places. So I really don't, I really want to make sure that um, being a secretary for this board is not an onerous task, task because there is a history of that on this board. So if we could, um, there you go. So, 
So then with that, that the minimal changes, changes is better. Better. Yeah. Um, is so. what we probably do need to do in future agenda items because it's, it, it's on the agenda. It's actually on the agenda. When the minutes are addressing the agenda, um, the future agenda items are just those that are on the future agenda items list. And so there are there are four Fire. bullet points that have been added to it, which were not on the future agenda items agenda. I guess I would so like to just remove just, them. Let's just remove them. That's a tough one. I, I struggle okay. with that. Yeah. I struggle with that trying to figure out what needs to go under that um, particular section. So, Karen, what you're saying is that on the current agenda, like for today, mm -hmm. where it has A through E listed as our future agenda items, so those are the, those are the only things that I need to address them in the minutes. In, the, in the, this portion, this number, paragraph nine or number nine of the future agenda items, right. are only the things that um, we address That's what I'm within, wanting to clarify within yeah. that. And so, so it, we'll just we need to move on to policy. And so these last four bullet points, they just need to be removed because they weren't part of future agenda items. On the so agenda. all T, policy, art walk, and news release. Right. I'll go. Um, yeah. However, art walk, that part does need to be removed, I'm sorry, moved to the paragraph five under art walk because that did, that did get discussed, but was not included in paragraph five about move to July or August agenda you know, regarding house walk, how art walk, house unveiling. Can I propose sense? for clarification or just simplicity to move forward with that recommendation but leave this particular one as is to limit the amount of moving parts right. for the minutes? Um, it gets really crazy. Yeah, I think um, we'll just, for the future, line up with the I heard the spelling, I heard the, the per ordinance um, recommendation. Would those two changes be acceptable to move forward with approval of the minutes? I so move. I accept. All in favor? Oh. <laughs> just just something else. Just kidding me. <laughs> Are you okay with that? I'm, yeah, that, is, that is what is wanting one so that's fine. That's okay. Um, so the previous minutes and are approved. We've done public invited. Um, so let's move on to the packet updates. I'd never know what to say here. Um, it's just the, um, the, the just the packet presented. Um, I am looking forward to Brittany starting next week. And one of the items that I'd like for her to go back through is the month, the year of 2023 update the number of guests to Athlement acclimate her to her new role mm -hmm. um, and to see what type of events have happened, how many people are attending, um, because it, there's just not the bandwidth at the moment to create those accurate numbers for you. So um, just trying to give you just a quick overview of how things are, are moving forward. Um, we're, our groups are still meeting very well. We've had a number of different um, revenue events, or um, perhaps a bit lower than pastures because of keeping those windows available for the um, restoration and work of the contractors. They, the contractors have been working uh, in May and June. They've been here um, measuring windows. They're doing a systematic swap out of the windows of the two porches. So as you, if you ever happen to look, you'll see that these two, these two windows are boarded up and then you come back in every day and then these two words are up. Okay. You know, so they're, they're, they're moving okay. through all the different windows um, and getting things lined up for a lot of activity happening in July. Um, after, the, after this weekend. After this, yeah. Right, we have an event this weekend. Yeah, we are in the middle again. Right. Yes, so after this weekend. Yeah, we, yeah. Wedding this weekend, right? Yes, there is. So I know right. them. Our, our window, oh, we know them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, our number of uh, our inquiries are are down uh, in May and June. Um, I don't. I'm not familiar enough with it to know if that's uh, systematic, um, because the people in May or June are already having weddings, or they're just getting engaged and they haven't really moved into the next phase. And just a reminder that Venue Hub did change their um, 
their marketing um, mission and they no longer um, provide leads to non-Denver oh, venues. Which is, wow, so that's rough. Wow. Um, yeah. So that piece is, is, is not there okay. through no change of what we have done. So on these, um, is there anything that shows uh, the future, like what's scheduled for next year as far as weddings? Yeah, we've got some new weddings that are booked uh, on page five. Um, oh, okay. 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 Yeah, we've got a couple, a couple that that are down, and we are in conversations. Um, I think with two other ones that haven't yet submitted at this time. So we are seeing um, movement and. Uh, requests. So we're still getting, even without advertising, we're still yes. getting. Yes, yeah. yes. But I was a little concerned when, you know, we're, we're going to leave the advertising off all year, but yes. we're still getting calls. No, okay. you know, it's, it's, still, it, 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 it's not all year, it's the financial year, correct? That we're, we're, we're leaving, we're already part of financial year is the year. Calendar year. Fiscal year. Fiscal year. Fiscal year. Fiscal year. Yeah. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for, I'm sorry, the fiscal year. Yeah. I, I, I think, like I said, don't you guys are worried about those particular dollars. We'll mm -hmm. figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do want to start to have a presence as we get done here. Right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll work we'll, on that. Don't, don't, go back. And, and, and I'm also looking very forward to what Brittany's stance and views are going to be on what she feels would be the best way that we move forward in, in yeah. doing our yeah. work. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. And I think having that project of trying to figure out what we've done. This year, and really getting a good handle on that um, would, would be very helpful. Um, and by the way, yeah. this whole thing you just talked about is an incredible market. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 So, so, so maybe, maybe questions. Do we do city um, events? Is the calendar house board meeting considered a city event? You know, I have no idea. I think it has been in the past. Rec records so um, April's city event will be at least one board meeting. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, fair and enough. Then, and then I have a question about the Koi Inc. garden painting that happened. Yes. In one recreation activity. It doesn't show as a revenue generating event. Um, and I'm wondering why. Was there a registration fee for the public to attend or participate in that? Or I think the revenue did not specifically go to the Calican House. It was revenue generating in, in the recreation realm, um, but money was not shared for this particular item to the Calican House. So, is there a standard for um, how the city uses the venue for other um, revenue generating? That can also benefit the Calvin House and not just the other department. Does that make sense? Possibly. Um, this particular one was a, a garden only activity. Okay. So it was in a um, just showcasing this particular piece. So, in some respects, the garden is open to the public. It's right? open to the public, and there, I believe that particular event had 22 to 25 participants. So, as far as the marketing and getting something down, there's that other piece there. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I think there's a an opportunity to explore that as we move forward. That the Calcan House is an uh, integral part of recreation services, mm -hmm. and um, we don't charge each other. Uh, to play nice right in the department of tradition. It's kind of so, the same pocket in a one apron. Right. Correct. Like they didn't charge us want. for the bar meeting to meet at the Aspen room at the Memorial right. Building. There were no charges for right. them assessed okay. to right. the Calhoun House. Yeah. And so yeah. this is not a but when it's everyday everyday related thing. is what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I know this is not an everyday thing and, and it's wonderful that it was garden and that's great. But right. But just thinking for, for future, just because I thought and other city like departments will use our facilities for public meetings. Mm -hmm. And then we don't charge them. them. So anything within the city it is not charged. Now, unless they use a consumable. If yes. They, you know, yeah, I, right. I, I mean, clarification wise, unless it's a consumable item, I, I get that. Yeah. That makes sense. And I'll do a little bit of a but. If we have, if we have ongoing things that can affect potential with that particular facility, 
that we do have a marine sound in the senior center as an example where um, we have an involved agreement with them about some revenue because they take in some and we take in some for programs that are within their facility um, and how that gets shared. So so when we have something that's involved, but something so small that it, it's we never have an agreement for such really small things. If we have something that's ongoing, that's what we want. Okay. Thank you. And the gardens weren't closed to the public. Right? No. Yeah, so people could still walk through. Yeah. So it would have window. seen a lot, yeah. of, yeah. a lot of features. A lot of yeah. 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 So so if we ended up having a Tuesday Tuesday afternoon paint set in here, it was through recreation. And we're at it through recreation on a regular basis. And then that would be one that I think we would yeah. try to look at that revenue towards Callahan. That makes sense. Or maybe it just runs through Callahan. I don't know. But I'm just trying to give an example of something that one-off things that are the city wide it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. No, no, no. Just was curious yeah. for overall understanding. Okay. Also on here we have the Callan House gazebo and shed to be painted. Yes. Um oh, is there any other questions with the oh. the the packet? The, the manager report itself, the mm -hmm. pages, whatever four or five. No, I'm just so I love it. Uh, other I than like I, the format. I like the format and I'm very looking forward to having her in my own. Very much so. Yeah, you can imagine that she's looking forward to it. Here's the one I see it. Yeah. 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 Someone just like yeah. shaking their head, just like, yeah. 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 you yeah. better believe it emphatically. So, yes. yeah. so, Shirelyn, you mentioned so the guests, the numbers of guests, that's going to be recaptured. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the, the fun part about the gazebo and shed, just double checking with you. Um, I gave you pictures because I was asked in the email to, to share this with you, and short of all of us running outside, oh, actually, we could look and see what color the gazebo is, because um, I had no clue on a quiz. Um, uh, right. Without looking at it, I gave you a photo, and actually, it's very beautiful from here. Right now, it's a, a bright light. Yes. The colors of bright light. And this project of painting the gazebo and the shed are outside of the grant. Okay. They are not historical in nature. They are just on the grounds. Will the city right. be doing it? The city grounds people? Actually, the same people who are painting oh, okay. this will be painting that from a different pocket of money. There you go. Um, so it's going to be seamlessly done at the around the same time. Okay. And that is one of the questions I wanted. And I'm very excited to know that they're um, being included as as part of the overall the aspect of, right. of the whole. Thing. It'll all get refreshed at the oh, same yeah. time. Refreshed. Nice. Okay. But they did want to get clarification on the colors. They want whatever. They want that today. Um, so well, the, I, can, the, I, can I ask? I'm sure something real quick. While I appreciate the idea of keeping the gazebo white, and, and I'm all for that, I am the questioning about the colors of the storage shed. I might suggest that that go ahead and go all white, and the reason is because it is not historic in nature, the gazebo either. And though the gazebo represents what was once there, um, it is it is not the original house. So I would suggest that we stay white with both the gazebo and the shed. Is the shed viewable from the window here? Uh, uh, no, it's it's kind of in the back right. porch right now. No, we can walk out there. Yeah. The only reason I, I bring it up is because it's probably something you don't want to stand out too much. Exactly. So it's exactly. Kind of right. Kind of right. Kind of blends in. Or, yeah, whatever that might be. Whatever it's know. up against is what I would want to match. Kind of, or at least yeah. comes up against yeah. brick. The compliment, so whatever it's up against. And it looks like it's up against a brick wall. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. Let's take a quick color. look at it. Yeah. If they want to exercise,
But it's because no one ever knew. We had our seventh inning. Right. It seems that we haven't seen the sun in how long. Right. And exactly. now it's just Isn't baking. That right? That's right. Really we haven't seen it for a few The sun's baking. We haven't seen the sun for how long. I have okay. relatives here and Careful. this was the shrine yeah. them. Oh, oh, sorry. Is there anything here we need to right? vote on? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, we will have to vote on that. So, okay. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm going to vote on 
that the gazebo be start this bright white, as suggested, and that the storage shed be the light green, the terrain, 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 as painted as solid. And one solid. I'll second. All in favor? Oh, I hate you. I don't care. She doesn't care. I don't want it. All right, so we've got our colors. And we haven't volunteered Karen for painting, so. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving right along here, I believe we can move on to old business. So, starting with that, I believe I'll turn it over to Karen for the status, or is that you? No, yeah, Ben, Ben, status of the SHF grant. Well, we are, we're waiting to restart. And is my understanding is, no, this has been the plan all along. This is, so yeah. this is next right. week. Um, it's been so the next week. Right. The the and they're ready to go. They have been continuing to do this one. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this. This right. So, um, everything should be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, I will add on to, since I'm talking about this, um, I talked to you guys about the, the small projects around the house, and I met with Kevin on those, the contractor, including this. Yeah, okay. And so um, I'm going to get back with him. He's up for it um, as, again, a separate, a separate thing. So my plan was, well, to get through the last three weeks and move council meet next week concerning recreation stuff, but then get right back with him. Um, with a list then. So, um, and I wanted to get Brittany involved with that next week. And so yeah, we're gonna look at trying to get these, I don't know, it, it's, a, it's a number we've talked about, but then there's more, there's a little mm -hmm. piece broken off here. And we have a whole little list of things which if you can just knock them all out, mm -hmm. would be great. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm working on with that. So, yeah. And we should be on target to finish by September, I mean, that's, we haven't heard any different yet. And on that list, you know, it's not just the ceiling and the wall here, but upstairs, mm -hmm. hallway, mm -hmm. walls. That's what we talked about, plus. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. When will they actually start on the patching the cement out here? Or what are they going to do? Starting, I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to happen next week, but anytime Should starting be. next week. Okay. My understanding is it's a July date, looks like it. Okay. Okay. That is on the grand project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on to Art Walk, um, we're looking good there. We've got all the artists. Um, we've got six, we got four indoor, two outdoor. Um, got music, and music. Um, so everything's going good. We do need to make sure we know how the yard is gonna, you know, usually tables are out there, and since, again, Brittany's new, and I think Kathy's kind of take care of that, but we'll have to make sure there's some tables and tablecloths out in the yard um, for people who wanna just sit out there and enjoy the music. And, uh, mm -hmm. There's a bottle of water. Um, yeah. And I am, and I apologize, I've had a tremendous amount of things mm -hmm. happening um, this month in my family. So I am going to be working on getting all the historic um, aspect of possibly putting something upstairs in the bridal room and, and um, doing that. Okay. But the, that we spoke about at our meeting of, of having somebody with a display. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. The dress and the stuff. The historic clothing. The historic stuff. Only the historic stuff. Yeah. We have one um, issue that might come up. One uh, since you know we have the four indoor. Hopefully, let's all count on really good weather and mm -hmm. because we have two outdoors. And um, I don't know if we can pack everything up. But I think we can if it rains. Get them all up on the porch. Because we've got the music and we've got the live art demo, demo that we knew of. And then there's one with a stained glass who was going to do out the oh, yard. Okay. Yeah, I think that's oh, pretty. Nice. But if it rains, yeah. Um, we, I think we could squeeze them yeah. in the porch. Uh, so I have a question. If it rains, can we not use the uh, auto house to put um, somebody in it? I don't know. I mean, I always like to use that. We also have the portico here. If it rains, then we could be under the portico. I think sure. we should find use the auto house. Yeah, isn't there a stove sitting there? there to see the auto house? And not yeah, but it's covered and it's, it's oh. one small thing. Hey, we need to use it. <laughs> we should. I don't be, yeah, before our walk, then we should make you walk through there. I think it hasn't been cleaned up. No, it's, it's been used uh, regularly. Yeah. Oh, last so, month. It's, okay. it's clean. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's, 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 so, let's use the auto house. Let's yeah, use, sure. use it as a backup. Plan B. Plan B is auto house. Okay. 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 
Um, I just want to make sure it's clean and stuff. I don't know. Well, absolutely. But, but, but I think we've got it. And what's and people want to see it. They're all you guys interested. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. yes. No. It so. is very cool. I've never had anybody. That, no. oh. Okay. That's a B. Plan B. Okay. All right. Um, news releases for grant project. That's you, Karen. Well, it's me, but it's uh, I'll share with you and then hand it over to Sue Ellen. I was um, preparing what would be a proposed draft for everyone to review and, mm -hmm. and approve, and then we go on through the city and all. Um, but Sue Ellen checked um, with Jeff, and there is a um, protocol that the city follows with all news releases are. Um, Created and um, submitted only by the public, the public information, information staff, and so um, and and I, I would like for some collaboration there because while the public information staff, I'm sure, is is fabulous at what they do, the um, specific you know unique nature of, of what we're doing in the history of how we got to where we're at as far as um, why the projects are, are, are happening. Mm -hmm. I, I think they would be, you know, without that information. So if it's possible for some sort of collaboration among the, the staff and um, the board, just to say, if, if they're going to draft something up, can they get it back to the board so the board can say, Oh yeah, we forgot this. Can we mention this? And then they'll take it back to the staff, and then the staff can go, oh okay, we'll get crafted that way. However, that's to be. I think it would be best if there's collaboration. A, 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 a are we not an advisory board? Can we not at least advise what's listed in the thing? Can we submit it to them and see how it goes, and then ask very kindly that they submit it to our board before it's released to the public? That's what I would think would be okay. My the direction that I receive, um, we can receive from Jeff is we can definitely provide with information. And there were some great questions that you asked for that I think are very appropriate to provide the answers to to the people who are crafting the news releases. Um, the timing of the news releases are looked at a, as far as a, as a much bigger picture. For example, you wouldn't want the news release for the Callahan House to come up the same day that. City Council put decides to put on the ballot these specific items because we'd be buried. You'd get buried. So the the idea with having this one central group is to make sure that things are put out in a way that that you don't have everything on a Tuesday and then nothing for two weeks and everybody's lost what was going on. Right. So given that nature, we can provide information for the crafting of the news release. The actual approval of the news release will not be able the timing wise to come back. For approval because and, of time uh, time frames and it's not what they do um, it it's generally approved by staff to move forward because the time frames aren't such that it lends itself to come yeah, back and re yeah. yeah. okay so as an advisory board can we at least advise or advise and suggest that these are the items that are available yes and, and so Karen could put her, her, her list together or, or actually write it out and say, this is what I suggest. Yes. And, and I think that's kind of what we as a board were asking her to do anyway. When we, we, sit, we talked about it at the last meeting, when we went to work with Ben, you weren't here, mm -hmm. right? but th that was what, what we were going to do anyway. And, and you were going to look at it and see if that's what you wanted to do. So, so really moving forward, it's not like it's changed that much in the sense that it's just going not to you then but to the uh, yeah. to the um, well yeah and one public go from me mm -hmm. through for our people yeah. and, okay. and, and Karen did submit some questions that are very appropriate to request information to be included in that but is not able to provide her that information that she needed in the time frame that she needed it by so um, okay. that's that, that's so and that was just by before today so that I could have something for you all to yeah, see. Well, okay. Sorry, I just was not able to give her the information she needed. But, but we can get the information before she submits it to the... Possibly? I, I, there's a lot of moving parts happening right now. Um, yeah, it's... I can work with You can't with make your guarantees on to, a specific timeline right now. Yeah, I can work with Brittany to get the answers to the questions that, that 
care and ask. Uh, they're very detail oriented, um, and so requires some. I don't want to misspeak or provide inaccurate information, um, and I can work with Brittany to help bring her up to speed on the project to help get those answers. And she starts on Monday, and she's got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> to organize just being as a full-time employee of the city of Longmont and part of recreation services and part of Sure. So, um, you don't want to own I, I, I want her to stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't we right. all? Okay. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, all right. So the only concern, I guess, timing-wise, is it sounds like it's not going to be something that can be done anytime soon. How will you notify the public uh, when um, the grounds will be um, limited? For example, when they're going to be doing work on the concrete, I imagine for safety, you will probably block off access to the guard. To the concrete. So, the, they're not blocking the they're not stopping access to the garden. Right, but people, when they walk in, they walk in on the um, driveways. They will, and that will be part of off. this. Okay, so they're not going to be able to walk in on the driveways. They'll have to use a sidewalk. Access the driveways. They'll have to use so a sidewalk. So the only in and out is the west sidewalk. sidewalk. Okay. I just, I think as long as the public is aware of that, it's. It's, it's important to be transparent, is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah this is the obvious. Yeah, sure, the obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. The obvious yeah. Yeah. I think it's always nice to tell people, you know, hey, this is what's happening, and this is why, and this is going to be a temporary limitation. Oh, okay, 12 hours? That's right. 12 hours? I believe so. So it's, okay. it's not a big deal. All right, I was not a big deal. That's surprising. Yeah, not for walking. That's only my house. So, I mean, it's done. It goes quickly. Right. Very quickly, unless there's additional things like cold or moisture. Oh, please, we're not going to be living in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, we don't like rain. Yeah, we're going to go over there when we block it off. Yeah. Yeah. Is it entered the garden? Is the main entrance on that? Yeah, go ahead and close the gates. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little signage or. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, moving along. Uh, the fall tea, October 1st, 1 to 3 p.m. Um, is there any updates anything you want to mention there? Yes, just briefly, we did meet and um, put together a um, quick revision to what we've used in the past years as far as an invitation and the second paragraph specifically with regard to what the update is. Um, um, I can just read that one short paragraph to you if you'd like, and then we can talk a little bit there after. A short change and it will be that the current board members are pleased to have created a framed acknowledgement including all the ladies names who have served on the Fountain House board from the very beginning 1938 to the present as well as a photo display of all the house managers through the years these along with the most recent restoration and preservation projects completed with the grant from history Colorado will be showcased during the tea so that's the one change that is going that's to happen. Is the the, the old uh, no. Oh, if you'd like this, I can give this to you. Well, the, I was going to say, say you don't have to, but if you're, mm -hmm. but it's just a quick, the, we, the latest update. We should, we, yeah, we should have a lot of pictures. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so we're talking about what? over what? So what's happening with the house? Um, the, the, oh, so in there, you point out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all you've added to. That's all. Yeah. yeah, we we took out the just old. Just took out the old paragraph. Added the new. You know, we you know recently received the grant application. You know, we did mm -hmm. a grant application, received the hundred eighty thousand dollars. This is what it's all going to go to. All it's very So we just changed it out to the mm -hmm. paragraph. With that final, the final version that would be included in a in a packet at a later board meeting. Mm -hmm. It should sure. be, but because it's so not till October. You know, yeah, it can be. Yeah, it yeah. can be either for next two months. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. Because so, we're going to get the invitations out earlier rather than later. Yeah. Our, one of the comments Karen received was that uh, last year was that they didn't, they wish they could have come, but they had other plans. Make, they already made other plans. Yeah. So it was. They asked us more in advance. So they said, let us know more in advance. More in, in advance. And that was several of the ladies, actually. So, mm -hmm. so, so we one, plan to meet again before the end of this month to. And write the the envelopes and include the invitation printed as it is 
and the same little stationary card that, and very similar never know yeah. to the ladies and it's done and so that was one of the things we need to go upstairs and get after the meeting we need to get more of the more the cards the cards and the other aspect of it is that we were going to follow up with email reminders about the upcoming G or in a follow on the back room. Yes. And just a note clarification, just for, for the secretary, she can just note a change was made, and then in the later, when we put the invitation in, people will be able to see the change. Yes. She doesn't need to notate the change. No. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Um, I just wanted to bring up one thing. I know it's minor, but I just want to bring it up is I checked the schedule and there is a Bronco game that day. It starts at 11. 11. Um, anybody want to move it to 1 30? Oh. Well, is there a little bit of a Well, we've had in prior years, we've had it 2 to 4. Would you like to go 2 to 4? Well, I was, gonna, I was trying to go in the middle. 1 to 30. Well, okay. Because of Anne's request, I suggest that we move it from two to four for any of those people out there that are. Because I may not be the only fans. person who watches. Oh, I watch watch Yeah, yeah. So yes. Then it is. I just thought I'd throw it up. Then I Let's don't think it's a, a horrible request that we move from two to four. That was it's a discussion so that we've discussed. Do we want to? Have you any agreed talk about it at the meeting? Do we want to vote on it? I'll make a motion. I I make a motion that we move the the tea hours from two to four. I say. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you, guys. Well, I, I was looking at your sketch. I thought, well, that might prevent some people from coming yeah. at the time. You know, they might come later. One other quick thing that we talked about um, in, in our, our past meeting is um, how you would like to, as a board, um, have the refreshments of the team. Um, in the past year, uh, it's, it's been done uh, by Step. And I tried to find what the cost was on that because I, I was curious too about that. I'd asked even last year, I was like, well, what's this going to cost? Because we need to be mindful of them. But that, that wasn't clear. But what I found from the financials from April of last year is that there were charges of like $172 for pastries, um, a charge, minimal $10 for grapes. Some charge that I can't tell what portion of it, but it's trays and it's referencing a, a name of a memorial that was held here and the Callahan House Tea and it has the total together. So I don't know what portion of that was. So I don't know what the cost was to do food by staff here to the Callahan House. So an option that was talked about is something for everyone to consider is. Would we, as a board, as current board members, instead of having the house staff there and have the house have the costs purchase purchase our expenses, would we like to individually plan to bring you know something particular? Like for you like catering, cheese and crackers. For our and catering kitchen, we have to use. We we can't bring in. We can't bring. We can't bring outside food. Okay. Because of the status that we have as catering kitchen, okay. if you move the whole tea upstairs. You could do that, but if it's down here, it has to be catered or purchased. Okay. Food. All right. So we are question. limited well, by our designation. No problem. Uh, well, so then we'll I'm, just go back through the whole. That's my understanding. Okay. Um, um, is that the clerk? Does that reflect your understanding? That's right. Could we just settle that? Like, let's. Okay. Right. Thank you. Right. Right. So are you saying I, that people aren't allowed to come into the house and use use the house for? An event of, of theirs and bring their own correct unless it's upstairs. Unless it's upstairs, yes. Yeah. They that's can't that's be down the stairs. Correct. Yeah. Correct. That's oh. that, that is that is my understanding. Would it would if I volunteer my catering services? I don't know that piece. I, I think I would have to go through that with with the because I have all the certifications and everything. I do more than one more to volunteer my catering services as a certified chef with all the food safe food serving um, certifications and everything that I could do the cheese. I don't want to put anything more on staff. I'm concerned with starting a brick with Brittany starting a right. to scare her off. It's a simple enough thing that I can you know well, let me let me re research that in a formal way. And okay. um, thank you for that option. That is yeah. I, I don't want to put anything in jeopardy and, and my knowledge is um, 
I do not want to portray it as um, everything. I don't, I don't know yeah. anything about it. I know enough to be cautious. But I, I don't want to step on things That's that, fair. that I don't want to do things incorrectly. I so understand. Let me, let me find out if that will work. And, and, I think and there's a good I possibility. Volunteer my services and all donation of those. Just one quick question. Um, I totally think it's down here versus upstairs is great, is best. Oh, yes, oh, it's just yeah. beautiful in here. And how many people? normally come how many would you be inviting do they all fit around the table no we sit at little tables yeah, yeah. Little tables. Oh, okay. okay but we usually but put like four car tables to this room too this is where the food is we okay. have the food. it's a buffet okay. and then we fill up our plates okay nice and there's tables and, and that being said then i i do think that we probably have to pay the additional cost of, of what the house costs for for tea and coffee but then we could i could cover food costs otherwise and then okay. we can do it in the catering Manner and keep temps and do whatever else we need to do for records. Okay. You know how, how we all, do you know how we all make our donations in the ways that we can? Yeah. yeah. So, so, no big deal. It's always possible. Okay, um, but generally, are you all okay with the same sort of light favorite foods? Because yeah. how Karen um, re described it, you know, yeah, this two like and, and not too many, sweets. not too many sweets. But, I just uh, a nice but, balance that right. everybody has. Well, sweet, well, savory, a little sweet, a little it's savory. It's basically about yeah. yeah. It's not about. Um, I don't like stuffing my face with cucumber sandwiches. Oh, I like. Stop! I can do cucumber sandwiches now. She's gonna. Lunch again? No, no, no. Okay. We'll okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Night. I was kidding. So that's um, the update. Okay. Well, thank you. Alrighty. Uh, July open house. It's coming up soon here. July twenty sixth, five to seven. Mm -hmm. um, since it's only what, two hours or five, six, three hours. No, five, six, seven. Two hours. Yeah. Two hours. Uh, we'll all. I guess whoever can make it. We won't do shifts. Like we do when yes. it's a four hour thing, we kind of do shifts, right. first shift and second shift. I think whoever can make it to help, yeah, try to make it. I'm right. sorry, so I would not. Yeah, you have a sign, Dr. Zixky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and like I said, with all of us, that should be plenty of people then. Well, so you know, just some kind of ties and dovetails in with um, the information I was requesting um, to be able to write the news release that was all set to be included in the display boards that I was being done prepared to bring to you today so that you could look at them and hear them for use at open house events. I don't have that done because I don't have that information. So those aren't available for July's okay. open house. Okay. I would like to just suggest that I know and I have complete confidence in Karen and your details and your efficiency and your attention to details. Just that, that you just go ahead and move forward if you can get those boards done to the best of your ability, because this is an opportunity for that people to be aware of it. I I personally think um, if if the if the board approves, we move forward and just just allow you to um, get those boards ready to the best of your ability. I'd hate to think that we miss this opportunity mm -hmm. simply because you, we don't have the time to visually see it um, here at this meeting. Um, I personally trust that you will have accurate information because you wrote the grant yeah. um, well, on, on those boards. I, I can do it with that information. I won't have updated information unless unless. Ben as well, and unless I can have the information that I've asked for tomorrow, we're not going to be able to get that level between now and the next Wednesday to have that update included. If, there, if, if you want to pare that down to some, you know, some much, much shorter basics, Oops. but it's just we don't have the time right now. This is, this is it. And as far as showcasing the calendar house, it, it's still a calendar house. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. It's still the, the nuts and bolts of the calendar house, mm -hmm. and the, whether it's 
um, higher construction than the renovations and they know that versus not know that. It's so not all that relevant to most sub, people. Subcontracting for all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't use it all that. Yeah. Yeah. Including, just so you know, for including that in the news release, it is important. It is how a lot of our historic information has been gathered is through um, old newspaper articles that didn't include details such as, you know, the companies out of Chicago that came and did the renovations. And so having that information in the news releases is important for that purpose. Um, and then also then to be able to have it on a display where people can see, like, oh, that's the purpose behind the meeting, those kinds of details. So, so we, we can always update the boards. Yeah, as I, think, can. I think that's true. Go with that you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's true. So I would like to put a motion out there that, that Karen, that Karen, sorry. Yeah, you remember. It's been a long one. Mm -hmm. um, that Karen move forward and do the boards and have them available and ready to be set prior projects, at least for the open house, to the best of our ability. With as much information as we've got. Can I just ask, how are, are these actual boards, or are they tag board, or how are they going to be supported? It's like a presentation board, similar yeah. to the size that I showed you. Uh, so, so, I mean, was it something we need a tripod for, or is it something? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, even just a table tripod. Okay, or, that's what I'm wondering. Or if you're needing a floor tripod. Well, I mean, but you're, I mean, if, if you know how size big it is, no, size. let me give you, um, let me see if I can give you slides. Tabletops. So it's nice. it's kind of like a big poster board, it's like a big foam big board or something. Part, yeah, something like that's stiff board. so that it is stiff right. and it yeah, yeah. it's not oh, yeah. collapse, so it's it's hard. But, um, yeah. but, but if they fit on a tabletop, okay. they'd be here. So they are basically they're twenty two inch by twenty eight inch project boards. Um, they're they're a nice, pleasant gray, which is actually kind of a greenish gray. And it looks really pretty. But um, uh, I have four of those so that we can properly display with pictures um, each of the areas of tasks within the grant project that are being. I, I well, I'm sorry. What were the dimensions of the board? Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty-two by twenty-eight. Twenty-eight inch. Twenty-two inch by twenty. Project. You think that'll support? support? You think that'll take and they're lightweight. Support? They're very they're lightweight. lightweight. Okay. Okay. Well, so, no, we don't need to try this. Um, uh, well, I, I mean, it, actually, you want the floor, them. The floorings. We don't need the floorings. You may, you may not need a floor or a floor easel. Or maybe, maybe just a tabletop easel as long as the tables. Well, the floor is just four boards. Yeah, the floors will take up a lot of space. Well, what we will do is this allows us to be flexible enough to see which one works best, and then we'll work under the venue. Because it's going to be an open house, right. mm -hmm. and we don't have other venue uh, vendors in here with that. This gives us the ability to be flexible and see what works. Did just want it. I'll second the motion. I don't think she's made it yet. Again, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. all in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. And mm -hmm. we can, uh, on a side note too, um, once we actually have the chance to look at them, if we want to redo or change things up, please let's do. I don't want to be the end all be all. This is what it's going to be. Right. I want, I want, if this you is know, us, the work in progress. Right. Right. Yeah. This will be their initial run. We'll see what right. Yeah. 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 I, I think this is great. It gives us a chance Go to, forward. to move forward. Right. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Forward to that. Uh, moving along to item F donations and contributions. I think maybe we can finish up on this, but I let you know you presented a letter. I just, we wanted to finish it today, I guess, or talk about it. I have a quick update um, because obviously with Brittany's transition to house manager, she invited us to continue on as a committee and wrap it up. And I said, no, it's really important that we all continue including you um, because I like inclusion. The more it eyes on things, the more and well, she has had that tremendous. So I think um, yeah. our, our objective <laughs> is this: we do have the donation policy and guidelines um, prepared, and it's just a simple front and back page um, for and this the purpose of this document will be for us to use as uh, guidelines um, for donations um, and then this, the other document that we're questioning about is the donation agreement which 
we um, use the same <laughs> setup, the same format that Eric Mason uses for the museum. Um, but we have to meet one more time to talk through a little bit more about the process. And then also there's the question of, do, do we really want to keep the donation um, agreement or and propose, a donation proposal agreement to just items like a tea service set? And then um, any monetary donation just goes directly through the um, mm -hmm. Red Cap or however it is that mm -hmm. um, the donations are being paid. And then we've discussed about is there some sort of threshold or a um, wherein a significant amount is where we stop and take a pause to really acknowledge that. It's one thing if somebody goes on and scans this QR code and says, oh, let me put in 20 bucks. And, and the, city, five, the city but, doesn't exist in policy. I don't know what the threshold is, but financial we, contributions. We use that policy. It's 10,000. OK, and then so it has to be specifically the city council to yeah, accept. Yeah. Yeah. And so but, we incorporated oh, all of that, too. Um, so but, but we're talking I about we talked about there. something well below. Yeah, we're yeah. thinking that's that's a good good world. World. Right. We're thinking yeah. anywhere from 500 to 1,000 in the sense of people then get acknowledged for that specific oh, okay. amount. Of we just send a yeah. thank you note, or is that what you're saying? We, 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 we need to more personalized than how we're going to acknowledge them. We include them in the donation list, you know, mm -hmm. how we're going to keep a donor right. list. So, and so this is still something a work in progress that we haven't quite clarified and we recognize that the, all of this is going to have to go through the city but we've been very very diligent in in going through what the existing city policies are mm -hmm. incorporating those and incorporating what other or other like like the museum like-minded um group in the city within the city has done in reference to them but you know there's a difference between donating five hundred dollars and donating twenty dollars online and how exactly are we going to go about doing that right. and then how does it show up on the website and then it also was that came into question is how then does that show up within our financials do we need to have a specific line item is it, it is it specifically, you know, is that one that's in existence already, or is it a, a pot that it all goes into? Is it like a lump sum that we get 10,000 last month, or is it individually listed? You know how that we used to have that one page Calhoun House budget, or the Calhoun House fund, Calhoun House, right? And that the line item donations was recently added because that's what we asked mm -hmm. to have done. And so my guess is that all donations go into that. All financial awesome. donations are identified in that um, in the question column of, for that given month. Mm -hmm. Is that right? So the question was, is there any way that we could have it from people who coming in with a QR code and just donating twenty dollars if we could put in an additional code for for say larger fund items. And I think there's a way to do it. I, I know there is, but is it something that that is um, user friendly, doesn't make too much work for somebody, and yet um, it's just, I personally think it's just a quick fix within the accounting system that you can have a line. I think, but, I think that. Uh, and differentiate between the $20 donation and the more higher donations. I don't know that our system needs to make a difference. There is a way to do an email notification to a staff member if something is done. And I think the human being could easily assess that. So, 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 so we're looking at it simply on our reporting line. So we as a board can acknowledge and see it. And then that way um, we know who needs to have the personal thank you notes, mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's, it's, it's really essential that we keep, we acknowledge the gifts that we um, have written thank you um, for that gift and, and to do that. Now, we're not going to write 15, uh, $15 thank you note. Know, thank you for your $15. That's just too... I think you guys come up, with that, come up with the threshold, so go ahead and figure that out. I'm sure we can figure out a way. Absolutely. To so, is there any 
way on the QR code, um, if they put their email address in, they could get an automated thank you. You know, well, there should be an automated be thank you. Yeah, yeah. Is that so they get that automated thank you. That would be nice. We don't know Does if that's that happened. Happen? So, A, I don't know if you've received any donations to this time. So that would be A. Mm -hmm. okay. B, um, their information, unless they do it anonymously, which they have the option to do, would be available to, to staff mm -hmm. when they make a donation. Okay. So um, the staff would be able to either do a generically approved email out to folks, could do whatever you want to. At the moment, it's it's not a burning fire with yeah. lots of people yeah. doing it. Right. If it was automated, it wouldn't even involve somebody actually doing it. It would just kick out a... I think for the could, volume of that you're, you're currently experiencing, <laughs> just a staff member yeah. could yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, well, okay. is it, it? It could be even as simple as a thank you and a receipt. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we can do that piece can happen. So if there's verbiage that you would like to have can that comes on the receipt for a specific purchase like that, you that can have sense. that set in. Yeah. That just yeah. makes sense. I'm anticipating future volumes to increase. Part of it. I love it. We're trying to make sense. I agree. We're thinking about so, so I guess to clarify, part of the reason why we're bringing it back to the board is we would like the board's input. Is there a specific threshold that the board overall sees that we should that we should be starting at? Is it five hundred? Is it a thousand? Is it fifteen hundred? What is it that the board thinks? Well, I'd say a significant. I'm just going to throw out their sense. threshold. We know the volume of contributions isn't real high right now. Yes. I say everything should be acknowledged. Once we reach the point where we're getting 20 a month, then we can talk about, well, okay, we're getting too many, you know, we're getting too many. No, it's never too many, but uh, it's never too many, but now we're getting a volume and we have a head count problem. We don't have somebody to do all this. I, I understand what you're, where you're at, but we're trying to get a policy in place. So it's very important to me that we just get the policy in place and then policy is in existence. It, we don't have to rehash this. Right. Well, I think there's two levels of acknowledgement is what we're going to be talking yes. about. That, that we'd like everybody to be acknowledged. Everybody is right. Right. But if somebody, and this is this is a rarity, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if somebody yeah. gives 500 plus dollars, right. then that is a physical, uh, we're right. all very big on physical note being written to that right. person. Yeah. So, so I, would I, lower, that, I would lower it to 100. I think you can get a hundred dollar one. And there's not very probably. many of those. Yeah, there's not very many of them. So let's but if I donated to you can always change it. it. Okay. Yeah. Always change it. That's 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 exactly why we were bringing it back. And the other thing is we did find out through um, dealing this with this process when we went in and punched in and looked through the website and stuff, we got directed specifically to doing the bench. Yes, to do a bench. A bench, a bench. bench. There's a little hiccup there. There's something. There's wrong. a hiccup on the line. Um, we know exactly where they got it. That they should be able to donate a, a bench to the county. Oh, a bench. Okay. Oh, because the website needs them there. Because the website, oh, yes. because the website them leads them directly like you, to it. Oh, yeah. If you pull up the QR code, if you scan the QR code right now on your phone, let me pull. Let me pull one out so that you can. And anyone who wants shows to it as an option or shows it as an that example, to go, I can't remember. It's a refused one. It, it, it pulls yeah, it right to that yeah. rather than that, giving that's them. That's why the, I felt horrible. And yeah. it's no wonder yeah. that's where exactly yeah. they, yeah. they were thought they were doing. They were doing the right, right thing. Right. Right. It says yeah. right there that we can do it. We told them to do it. Well, because lots of it are scan it on your phone if you would like. If you want to scan it on your phone, use that QR code. Give it a go because it's really quite interesting. It doesn't take you to the opportunity to put in funds like here's 20 bucks. No, it's like here, donate a memorial bench. And it's like, oh no, <laughs> that's, that's, not, not, that's not right. <laughs> we, we don't want that. That's and, and I, so I felt horrible that we turned them down. And that's, that's what, in, in a lot of ways, I don't know what they saw, if they saw that it. or not. But um, that was not there. But it was not there when we originally set it up. Something really changed, young. though. Something changed to me in hiccups somewhere sure. along the line because last year when, when um, Sue did a beautiful job creating the QR code and then um, getting the donate button on the website and, and then we talked about, okay, the donate button on, when on computer has to be at the top, it's but on. When, on, when you're scanning the QR code and it's on your device, it needs to be, you know, um, right, you know, pop up first. And so... And then when we did that, and we went through the process, 
it was a little cumbersome. You had to kind of jump through hoops to get to, all right, here's, yes, I want to make this pay to this. And I asked, yeah, like, Brittany, no, I don't want to use my she... city account, or yes, I do. Um, and, and so there was a little process there, but it was always pointed to how much. So I, I, I so something use the QR code and the link, and I got the account. So if you donate, it's so you have to go through the process. Yeah. So if you donate, make a donation. Make a donation online. I click that. So there's a lot of different ways people can come in. If you find the area that you see, because I'm looking on a phone and I'm looking at a link, and I'm using my personality. Right. So one third of people think like me or you. What one third of people can get halfway there, and one third of people are like really creative and do something totally different than you would do. So if if you're looking at a different location or a, a I got an idea. clicked, let me know, and Wait. we will work on that. Yeah. Brittany so had it on her um, computer, MacBook, or laptop, whatever. Okay. So when the two of you get together, she, um, exactly she can show you because she's the one who went through it. She's like, "Whoa, this is a problem." And and yeah, so, she said right away, she's old. Oh, we gotta get that. So, and I'm she, she can show you. Okay, because okay. I, I don't see it with this with my phone, and I'm when I'm moving forward. forward. So, my let's head. find out. Yeah, yeah, I I my big thing is, I don't want to offend anybody. People right. we don't want to have it out there. Like, if you stand by one says park bench and one says town, they're all in an online store concept. But anyway, I see your point. But if there is a link area, then. Let's let's get it fixed. Let's get it fixed. That's exactly right. There, and no and if you if you don't know about it, we can't fix it. Absolutely. Yeah. So let me yeah. So that was one of, that was an aha moment for us that we're like going. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. That's that's is there any more um, discussion on the contributions than we do? We're kind of no, running we'll, late. I, I we know. will we will need it on the on the next agenda, next month's agenda, yeah, because, because we will be meeting um, with Brittany after she's. Here, um, I'm going to ask you to excuse myself. Say it's almost 11 o'clock here. Five. We have interviews at noon, okay. and, and I've got some stuff here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you for a new rec center. Yep. Uh, 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 um, I did want to mention one other thing um, before I go about um, we also are on the right on the edge of hiring a program supervisor that will oversee Brittany Callahan House and a number of other. So, okay. um, excited about that. That's what the interviews are for? No. Uh, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Today's the museum director. Today's the museum director. Oh, so. no, it's the museum director. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's a more all that thing. So um, that's very exciting um, to, to get. We have two internal candidates that are both excellent. And we're very excited. Between Brittany and getting this going, we're going to be able to commit the time. Can I ask that at the next board meeting that maybe we could share with the board how the structure is yeah. lined up within the city? That yeah, because I mean, we yeah. literally have restructured. Yeah, everything. I mean, it, you know, everything, everything in the relative terms. Mm -hmm. well, we've definitely that. gone through a minor restructure. We've gone through a major restructure last year. Right. right. And just internally, we've gone through these minor restructures with moves well. And kind of, it's more duty adjustments. Right. So, anyway, it's, it's it would good be stuff. helpful yeah. just to see it, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. We be, can be glad to do that in the next meeting. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Sorry. Thanks, Sorry. Okay. Um, so then, yeah, I, I will need to leave in fifteen minutes okay. so that I can sit. I think we can wrap this up. Oh, um, well, under new business, um, I don't know. Okay. If Darren has anything to talk I about do. the scrapbook. I think we can not talk about future agenda items today. Well, right. Right. Okay, so let's just finish up. Sorry, what? Oh, Karen, do you have anything? Yeah, did you say something? Yes, yes. Um, Kim Sandel oh, did. Um, I met with him, showed him uh, an example of the scrapbook, and, and he said, okay, yes, this is something I've, I've done before. And he said, normally I charge ten, twenty dollars per file. Now, per oh. file, file, per file, yeah. per file, twenty dollars per file. He said, um, and and that and to explain what a file is, that's the photo. Mm -hmm. Photo. Ooh, and so he said, oh, but he said one image itself is twenty dollars. But he said with your project and, and the quantity that you're doing, he said I'll charge ten dollars per file. And I said okay. And um, can you tell me what that means and what we get for that? Um, it is a, it is 
absolute professional quality photo um, that is a very large file, meaning um, it is really good quality that you could take and blow up into a poster if you wanted it. But it's a it's rectangle in size. He's aware that the scrapbooks are 12 by 12. And um, he said, yes, that I would take the picture. Um, I, he said I could provide it to you in, in its raw um, format. Um, it, it would be rectangular in size. It's a full-size file, and um, then you, you can um, modify it um, to the size that you want your image to be in your electronic project. And so that would take some work on okay. someone either on the board or within the city, if there's resources within the city that can help us to do that kind of thing as well. You would be the person who would know or be able to find out if who in the city could help us with once we've had those um, raw files, um, sizing them properly to, to uh, electronically put them in, a, in an electronic scrapbook. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So is so, a file the full page? It is. Okay. Okay, that's, that was clear because I was thinking, individual yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's really what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. 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 It is one, it is one picture yeah. of the entire, the, the oh, 12 by 12 okay. page. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. So, yeah. so, yeah. so as to give you a, a little understanding of like sizes, the, um, the early years, um, it only has 30 pages and that's kind of one of the smaller, um, scrapbooks. Um, and so that it just to give you an idea for, um, quantity. Um, so, and plus, and he said it would take him, and I told him it would be about nine or ten books, and he said it would take him about two weeks. So, that's the turnaround time. How many pages are we? Yeah. 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 You know, I didn't feel, feel you know, I, I will count the pages of the scrapbook so that I can give you an absolute number. That's your main number. Yeah. 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 I can give, just, yeah. And we're not ready to go forward. I'm just reporting updated okay. news and, and we well, can yeah. get more updated news. And, and I believe that um, the the information can be presented, the, the cost of the, and the scope of the project can be submitted, and the, the actual moving forward with those funds, that is not an advisory board is not able to encumber those funds for the city right, right, right. to move forward. So, right. um, yeah. um, can I just clarify something? Maybe I misunderstood last month, but um, I thought we were going to, you were going to do it. I mean, I, I, I had, that's what I understood. I'm sorry. Maybe I have something else. the I've, I've said that I had heard about Ken Sandel from Eric. Okay. So you were going to talk to him and okay. that I wanted to see what he would charge and, and how he would approach this project right, that's yeah. smart. and well um, smart. because yeah. he's a professional and right. can get we're going to a professional him. image um, now the alternative to having a professional do professional images would be me okay so that's what I understood from last week this 12 by 12s yeah. now I don't have a machine that scans 12 by 12 pages but does the city and you know the museum right now they are trying to find a new director and they i those are the I people they, who would be asking and i can't yeah i i know the kind of standard that they're at they, that they have it's 11 by 17 eric from, sure, from like sense. last year or something when i was yeah. there doing something That's i'd asked him i'm like how could i scan a page this well but i didn't misunderstood and he said they don't they only have like an 11 by 17 scanning capability there at the museum and that's what he said. The Denver, we, uh, the Denver right. Museum, the uh, Denver Library, excuse me, has a scanner that could is a book scanner. He said you could uh, go down to the Denver Library and use their book scanner. And, and that was one on the yeah. discussion that we would do a field trip. We would trip go down. field trip, and then it was a matter of well, we can't go do a field the board trip. The board can't do that. So, I mean, this was whole so, lot of so, so. I mean, is that something? Okay, so, that well, I just thought I heard last week that you were last week. Yeah. But I did say that it be more that you were going to break in right. and right. this. But so but I wanted everyone to have an understanding of what our options are. Yeah, that's right. So and cool. while I'm willing to put in any amount any amount of time that's necessary to get this done, I don't have the equipment. Now how is this would be nice to see what it would 
Okay. And it's all cost wise if yeah. you went to FedEx. So if I go to, you think they've got a scanner at FedEx that I could? Well, maybe I'll we check. have printing done. You yeah. can have printing, but. Oh. How about because we're no. on a time crunch here, and I assume I'll start to panic at myself. So, how about we move forward in the sense of we check, we do we'll our research next month, we yeah, put it on next month, 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 and let's move forward in the sense of let's check out FedEx or, or wherever else that we can get an image done. We should contact the the library in Denver and see how much would cost us that the pages are would be if we came down there and scanned it out. Um, and then then we can also look at this because of the cost prohibitiveness of it. Maybe we consider, and this is just a suggestion to, for people to think about, maybe we break this project down into sections. So we do two books, for, you know, one through three or, or one, you know, as we can afford it. And then we, we move forward with the project but within a smaller scope. Because this is this is over three thousand dollars as is right now. Now, yeah. Um, and three hundred. Right. If you right. if you went thirty times ten, that's three hundred. But those are nine books. Yeah, that's, that's why I see if we break yeah. it down yeah. right. with only two books or three books at a time, and we break it into a more affordable aspect. The other aspect is we could consider doing a specific fundraiser specific. Why don't we um, all think about it, bring it up, we'll put it on to old business. Yeah, so put, put, put it on to old business. Yeah. And that way we'll keep, but yeah, look for ideas, look online. I, I mean, if, if next time we bring it up, if we're going to say, well, okay, so here's how much this costs or that costs, somebody needs to check certain things out. I mean, so FedEx, I'm talking, you scan it yourself, they might have that option and how, you know, how much is that machine you put in a, uh, credit card and you start scanning things I believe it, it would work that way. Well, you what do you like pops? Uh, what do you call those blueprints? You know like for yeah. a home or something. Yeah. They've got those kinds of okay. things. Okay so, so, so there's a couple there's a couple aspects out. that we need to do. And I don't want to put this all in there. No it you share that's cost yeah. included Jim. I don't want to put everything on you. Yeah. yeah. Would you Cindy oh, be willing to go and check out FedEx FedEx without any do you know of any alternative for how to? Um, I'm just, you know, wanting to get everybody just to think and to look at things. And, um, well, I don't know if we have to start assigning jobs or anything. No, no, just I, yeah, just um, the, the machine at the Memorial um, building. When we scanned in the stationery, it at least took the um, face tabloid, the um, legal size. Can it take a 12 by 12? It does tabloid, whatever tabloid is. It can also shrink stuff. Um, I just, uh, there's a lot going on right now, for yes. yeah. especially if you're looking to move forward with the project. I, the I, I think maybe we, so we, we, we don't want to discuss or assign jobs here, right? So yeah. let's go ahead and get a committee together to look at it. Can I suggest that we, yeah. I would like to put forth the motion that we mm -hmm. put a committee together to look at it. Yes, I will. Second, I'll second that. I, obviously, I'll leave that because I'm a historian. <laughs> Aye. In favor of a committee to work on the scrapbook? Aye. Aye. Any days? No. Okay, yes. Okay. But who else? I, I'll be willing to work on the committee. I will. Yes. Can we get the committee? Don't lose that number. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure who it fit in. I have a few things on my personal agenda. I'm um, out. Oh, that's your yeah. Yes. Okay. Just don't know what you want to <laughs> Okay. All right. We've got a committee. Um, you guys can work together and figure out what you want to meet and stuff. I got Maureen and Cindy. Karen. Yep. Oh, Karen. Alrighty. So let's uh, forego the, uh, if you guys want to, can we forego the future agenda items? Ooh, I just have a quick question. Okay. Which ones stay on here? House Manager Picture Project, mm -hmm. Club Affair, mm -hmm. Review, Future House Restoration, Callahan Hill Speed Blast, uh, Past and Present Board Member, mm -hmm. uh, Upstairs Organization. Yep. And I think that's good. I saw a G of uh, digital scrapbooking 
Well, that's or, that, that'll be it. That'll be an old oh, business. business. Okay, yeah. thank you. Sorry. And we didn't talk about anything from staff, and items from the board. But I think we can, since we're running pretty late today, we can either forego that unless somebody has. Um, I guess I have a question regarding what's at the bottom of the minutes. Did we decide we didn't need that on the minutes page? Yes. Yeah. Uh, correct. It's on the signature page, statement. which which I have right here. Yeah. I guess we should sign for, it. For, for approving. So the it's minutes. on the back. You don't, don't need to sign. have these. You don't okay, need to have need it on your on minutes. minutes. Do you want us to sign those? Yes. When you're, when you're at the end of the day. Yes. 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 So now I'm going forward. Can you include that single page in the packet along at the end of the minutes? Please. It's submitted okay. with the signed minutes that go in. I know. Um, oh, I know, but in the packet, in the packet that. Would you mind including it in the packet at the end of the minutes? We signed it. Though. Why? Why would we need it? Why would um, everybody need it? Any anyone who went online to look at the packet online would not know that that page exists. Would they, not know that the references at the bottom of the page exist. I submit the yeah. signed after, minutes. Yeah, after. And they will all have this on it. So only oh, at one the end. Only one month, only our current month won't have this signed piece of paper in the packet. Right. Does well, that, that make sense? It doesn't have to be signed, it just can be blank, just showing that it exists. So if anybody wanted to go in and print the packet, like a, a just not necessarily us. Okay. But as a member off the street, can we just include it? I sure can. Thank I, you. I don't know why they. I would. I, I'm not going to print it for your packet. No, no, no. 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 Don't print it for no. Packet. Just include it for the packet that just, is posted just, just online. Just post it for. Uh, it does. Do, right? It's not. It's no. fine. It, it's not well, for the not for the current, current meeting. It's the minutes when they're finalized, they're posted, and that's signed. So, do you know that the detailed details. things are also right here yeah. on the agenda? So it's on the agenda. You it want is. a blank page with it again? It just put it on It's part of the document. That seems like way too much. It's, just, it's, way too much. it's just part of the document. Can you guys take a vote and make a decision, please? Oh, yes. how, tell me how to word it. Uh, I, I hear Karen. I, I, I heard a request to include a blank signature page for the purpose of. But that's since it's, it's already right packet. here on the. It's not in the packet. It is, ma'am. It's the first page of the agenda. It's the packet. It's right there. It's right there. And that appears all along what before our meetings. But the, the agenda and page. No yeah. one would ever know the signature page exists, exists there. if they're pulling up the packet for, before our board meeting. Okay, so so before today's meet, board meeting, if anyone went online and looked at, because you can look at all boards' um, um, agendas and packets online, um, all the way up to city council, and all of the documents of the packet are visible for the public. The signature page is part of the minutes. And while it is unsigned, it, it shows that it is unsigned. In other words, it is it, it is, is still not the minutes, it's not the final. I can so, include that at the conclusion of the minutes. Thank you. So you do not have to add it. That's how I'll put it onto your minutes at the conclusion. I'll put it into the packet. It will not be printed for for the board members. So we don't need a motion on anything. Correct. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any any other in, you know things we need to talk about? I think there are things that need to be on next month's agenda. But um, how would you like to go forward with that? Mm -hmm. um, so send you an email. Yeah, that will yeah, you've got things that have to go on the agenda, or yeah, send it to send it to Sue Ellen because she. I do, I will not be at the next meeting, so I do need some to change the next meeting. Don't look at me. <laughs> I've already had that conversation. <laughs> Karen, you want to do minutes? Sitting on that. You pick up minutes? I'm willing to do it. I, I hope I can do it in a way that meets the standard for, you know, the format. It's actually a simple thing. It, it's, a, it's a summary, and I think that's very important to me to make um, a summary. Follow, summary way. Up. follow this. Yeah, follow the old one. Follow so, the old work road. <laughs> so, so <laughs> there's, a, there's a template. Oh, and, um, so I don't know if I can send it to her, Sue Ellen. You sure can, or I can work with her on that. Okay, okay. you want to send it to her then? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I will get these sent as basic. Hopefully you're gonna do something fun. Are you doing something fun? Yeah. Go to, yeah. Go to see my older daughter.
solution was to remove the pictures entirely, rendering the sink inoperable. They provided something right now, and it's not in stone. It's we, temporary. Yes. yes. Uh, as far as I know, fixtures are not affixed with super glue or any sort of permit adhesion. We are operating one step and we're down. We are trying really hard, folks, and we're, we're really trying hard, and I guess if we're missing the boat in conveying to you our commitment to your board and commitment to the county of that house, I'm at a loss. So please be patient. Know that things are not permanent. No, no walls were broken down. Nothing was done in the sense that it was just made functional. Well, so, we we, and we we know we understand temporary first. That's not that's not an issue. We don't want anything lightning or anything problems like that. And they it's need just, a place to wash their hands. Yeah, when right. they're upstairs. Absolutely. And, so. and, and the the big thing is, okay, do we need to restore the closets? Um, so that's why you are they are they, they able to be repaired? Because restoration is, is key here. So and I need some help with prioritization of what you guys want because if we're doing, please think about that. Okay. It's 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 not gonna. Degrade, damage, destroy. Do you want to focus on marketing? Do you want to focus on, on um, where would you suggest that focus of energy be spent? There's not the bandwidth with the new employee training, with the new supervisors training, with the grant propelling, with all these different things. There really isn't enough time to be Okay. mindful on that piece. I'm not saying that it's not worthy. It's very it's on worthy, the list, but it's not at the top. Um, mm -hmm. It yes. just has to be on the list. Yeah. The, the, big, the big thing is, if it, we just make sure that it's on the list. I understand that if there's a leakage, well, you've got to put a band-aid and stop it. Yeah. I, I completely get that. We just need to be aware of it. if something is needed to be fixed, we need to be aware of what Okay, that's all. It goes on the permanent historic yeah. piece. Then that I think tough. that that's okay. That that's key. And, and then if, if any any there. things are going to be um, fixed or repaired, um, just for example, off the top of my head, the flooring upstairs in the kitchenette, if it's going to be fixed or repaired, that we look overall long term for historic purposes. I think that's 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 the the board needs to be aware of it. That's that's it. Um, we don't want to put it in a temporary band-aid that is permanent. Permanent that doesn't, um, yeah, that's not permanent. That that actually hinders anything that we would do. Over that's it. I, I think if that's it. In in, in a communications, key. so nobody's panicking that that um, like this the fixture got thrown away or anything like that. No, there are very specific things not. To so, um, so, so, so that's that's just I think if we just discuss it, I, it seems like an appropriate piece to put on the list for restoration and renovation. Yep. And and so if it's not pro priority, I get it. Okay. I just, just okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. I'll so, 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 as far as putting stuff on the agenda, is that something that that um goes out to in an email to everybody, or does it just go to you? You could just send it, please, to me. And then okay. I can pile it and then and then like more will we look at the overall agenda and see if we want to add something to it and if we do then we can talk to yeah. it. Cool. And you're working with Tom to yes. create the agenda. Yes. And we and we try to create that honestly in the next two weeks. Cool. Just why it's fresh in our minds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so maybe <exactly>. two hours. <laughs> yeah. So it's exactly. um, but you, but yeah, and you do work on the agenda, yeah. right? It's yeah. not just her. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. She's she, 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 she she crazy. Like, yeah. She's a good job. Cool. She didn't mm -hmm. ask me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You never. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I keep on looking at you. Like, oh, that's Anna. She's not here. 
Perfect. Yeah. No, no, okay. <laughs> I, 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 can I get a motion to adjourn? I just said it's 11.20. I move we adjourn. Okay. Second. Okay.